Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's continue the topic of panel data. We could apply the panel data methods to certain data structures that do not involve time. For example, in my paper about the causal relationship between the triquid family structure and the worker's earnings, I assume that there is something in common for all the descendants from the same original family, such as the family tradition or genetic characteristics that pass down over generations. It is the family fixed effects. I allow the unobserved family fixed effects to be correlated with the explanatory variables and use the within family transformation to remove the family fixed effects. Here, we do not have the time dimension. Instead, the panel variable is the family, and the time variable becomes the descendants within each family. They could be siblings or cousins. Let me show you how to apply the fixed effects methods to this family structure. Let's use the dataset for the US workers. You can download the dataset from the link below. We set the panel data structure by typing xtsetij. Here i is the family ID, and j stands for the workers within the same family. It is an unbalanced panel dataset. Some families have more children than the others. We use the panel data fixed effects demeaning method to fit the model. We type xtreg log wage union age schooling gender and the fe option. Notice that we can estimate the gender effect or the educational attainment effect on wages in this panel data setup because they vary across family members within each family. By contrast, in the standard panel data fixed effects setup, they are time invariant within each worker and their effects could not be estimated. We can compare the fixed effects model with the random effects model by performing the Hausmann test. It implies a correlation between the unobserved family fixed effects and the explanatory variables in the model, and therefore the fixed effects method is preferred. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.